Hi, in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to use a function generator to test and characterize some of these uh, small signal transformers. These small signal transformers are typically used in uh, power supplies, like switching power supplies, and also they can be used in filters, like this one probably is a common choke filter. And some of these are audio transformers, some of these are used in uh, power inverters. But uh, unless you know the exact part number, uh, you wouldn't know uh, the ratio between the primary and secondary. And also you don't know under what frequency they are supposed to be operated on. So we can solve this problem by using a uh, function generator. So the basic idea here is uh, I'm going to input a voltage into one side of the winding, typically the primary and uh, using a multimeter to measure the output voltage. So uh, by varying the frequency, we can see what the response is. In other words, what the output voltage is uh, compared uh, with respect to the input voltage. Now typically for a transformer, you, you know, you, we all learned that uh, its output voltage is determined by the turn ratio. But in reality, uh, it's slightly more complicated because uh, it not only depends on the frequency, but also depends on the, uh, the magnetic core you're using. Um, so these kind of iron, uh, laminated iron core, uh, operates at a much lower frequency than this kind of uh, ferroid core uh, transformers. So, uh, so you, as you will see later, the, uh, actually the ratio, the voltage ratio between output and input is not fixed over a span of uh, uh, several kilohertz of frequency. Before I get started, uh, let's take a look at the setup here. On the left, I have a Keith Lee 196 uh, DMM. And the reason I'm using this DMM is because it has a very wide frequency response range uh, from DC all the way up to 100 kilohertz. If you are not too concerned about uh, reading the voltage accurately, uh, you, you can just, uh, you know, use any multimeters you have. It doesn't really matter, if, especially if you are just con concerned about the, uh, the ratio between the in input and output. On the right-hand side here, I have a BK Precision uh, 4011 5 MHz function generator. You can pretty much use any function generator as long as it can output frequencies up to tens of kilohertz. Uh, that would be more than enough. And the output waveform, it can be, uh, you know, in our case, this is a sinusoidal, but you can use a uh, square wave uh, if that's, you know, if um, that's the only option you have. And also you can change it to, you know, pulse waveforms or whatever the waveform you are driving your transformer with. Anyway, so right now we'll set it to the sine wave. And let's try to take a look at this uh, uh, transformer. By the way, uh, the output of a function generator is usually terminated at 50 ohm. So it depends on the inductance on the, uh, your transformer, your testing, and operating frequency. You may, you know, be uh, shorting the, uh, the output of the uh, function generator. I mean, that's really not too bad for the function generator, but you just need to be aware because uh, the measured voltage uh, will change on the, pri on the primary. So your calculation, if it's based on the fixed primary voltage, then it will be off. So to illustrate that, let's say uh, right now, you can see we have a one volt, roughly one volt. And if we put this on a, uh, on a choke, we know this common mode choke has a very low inductance. Um, so you'll see that the output voltage dropped to 0 0.5 uh, from the function generator. But if we put it on a, uh, you know, on this, uh, uh, transformer, uh, which has a very large inductance, then you can see that uh, the voltage doesn't change at all. So that's just something we need to pay attention to. So the first one we're going to look at is uh, this little transformer. So again, we're inputting a uh, uh, inputting a roughly a one volt uh, signal, and uh, we're measuring the output to see what this transformer does. So as you can see, the output is actually 50.6 volts, 50.5. So this is clearly is a step-up transformer. And as I mentioned earlier, by varying the input frequency, um, we actually have a side effect on this uh, output frequency. 
because of the material used for this uh, uh, the core. And this one is a laminated iron core, so uh, you know its m optimal operating frequency would be in the uh, kilohertz range. So if I change it to here, um, you see that uh, right now we're dropping significantly. Uh, if I just change it to so somewhere around like 1.5, 1.6, looks like that's the uh, the optimal operating frequency for this particular transformer. And um, so in the term, the ratio here, we can say uh, the secondary rate right now is 50 volts. Uh, the primary, let's see, it's uh, 0.8 volts. So that's roughly you know like a, a 60, uh, 1 to 60 ratio. So if you were using this transformer, for example, in your inverter, uh, you know, you wanted to design it uh, at an operating frequency of roughly 1.2, 1.3, 1.5 uh, kilohertz, not too much higher or lower. So let's take a look at another uh, transformer here. So this one, it's a, uh, uh, let's see, um, by the look of it, it's also a step-up transformer because one side of the winding is uh, thicker, much thicker than the other side. So let's put a, our voltage, uh, sorry, our uh, input voltage here, and let's measure the output. So now we have, uh, you know, again, like a 40, uh, roughly 40. So if we adjust the output frequency, as you can see that uh, this one has a much higher operating uh, range than the previous one we did, just did. So all the way up to uh, 3K, almost 4K, you know, then it started to drop the output. So for this one, you know, you probably would just be uh, uh, running at, uh, let's say, 3 or 4 uh, kilohertz, and it should be pretty good. And I think this one is also a uh, power transformer. I mean, a step-up transformer as well. So we can take a look at this. Um, I'm not sure which side is. I can't see from here if this is the primary, but we can easily find out. No, so we just uh, did it the other way around. So let's see. Um, this is a primary. And our secondary. So yeah, so this one outputs uh, also 50 volts right now. So if we lower the uh, frequency, you can see it is actually rising. So at about you know two kilohertz, or yeah, or so, that's the uh, our mo most the uh, most optimal operating frequency. And uh, all these, uh, we can see, we probably should have uh, verified earlier that the primary didn't change much. So the primary is like a 0 0.7 in this case. And if I just vary it higher, and you will see that it didn't change, it's still 0 0.7. So basically, uh, this uh, range, you know, 1 to 70-ish range is... Uh, uh, Sorry, for this transformer, the, uh, the, the ratio is 1 to 70, approximately. So this one we know is a common choke, and uh, so essentially just 1 to 1, so we don't really, uh, you know, we, we don't need to test this one. And for this smaller one, so let's take a look at this one. This one is a ferrite core. So we can expect that this one can operate uh, up to a pretty high frequency. So let's take a look. Uh, at this assumption. Now we put the input here and we put our output here. Uh, so this is 0.2 volts and uh, 0.1 so I suspect that the uh, um, the input is getting significantly loaded. Yeah. So as you can see that at the 2 kilohertz um, the input of this uh, little transformer is actually pretty much shorted. Uh, so we can increase the uh, the voltage here. Uh, so by the way, uh, let me just clip here. And not a voltage, let's increase the frequency. So let's change it to, let's say, uh, 38, 39 kilohertz. And now the input shows like 0.5. So now let's take a look at the output. 
So this one has, um, let's see, what output here. So the output is roughly 3.3 uh, volts, which means this is a 1 to 5 uh, ratio. And we have another uh, tab here. This is a 1.6. So that's one, you know. So so basically, this is a really one half of that. So so I'm thinking what is happening here is that uh, uh, this particular lead is a center tab of this output uh, side. So here we have 1.6, and here you should also have 1.6. Yep. So then between these two, you have a 3.2. So this, uh, you know, to demonstrate that uh, the frequent, this one, you know, we can operate uh, at a higher. Uh, frequency as you can see right now we are uh, whoops not this one we are uh, 50 52 kilohertz now and now we're showing 1.9 so this is still uh, you know rising uh, significantly so as you can see right now we're at uh, 130 140 150 kilohertz and then you know after that the, uh, the output started dropping but again as i mentioned earlier for this uh, meter um, we have a 100 kilohertz guaranteed uh, bandwidth so i'm not sure what the response is after that so there you have it that's how uh, you can use a function generator to test your uh, pulse transformers and small signal transformers and especially it comes handy when you don't when you want to build something that you don't know what this uh, transformer is and uh, um, you can easily figure out the turn ratio and uh, operating frequency by using a function generator